Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to a new video on Caspa. All right, wanted to make an update. I know that there's a significant Caspa community uh, in general, but personally, I've also been keeping a close eye on Caspa. I think it's very interesting. And uh, yesterday we got a relatively significant dump. I mean, the, the market as a whole dumped down by quite a lot. However, I think the um, when you look at Caspa compared to other altcoins, um, we actually dropped down quite a lot, all right? So I wanted to talk about that because in, in the end, or in general, I actually don't think that was too bad. Um, what we talked about every time when we when we talked about Caspa the last couple of times is that I think overall we are in a bullish market structure, all right? You can see that since the, the 3rd of May, so since the start of May, we've been making higher lows right here then got a significant bullish breakout right here at 14 and a half cents. So what I also said is that my ideal entry would actually be some sort of a pullback down to that level. So yesterday, the sell-off that we had made us pull back into the 0 0.5 FIB plus 28 EMA uh, of this bullish momentum. That's a strong support. And right now we are actually gaining some, some strong momentum from, from there as well. So uh, personally, I'm not going to tell you that that this momentum that we have this morning, right? So so it's very fresh momentum. It's it's like we went up for the last five hours, whereas before that we went down for for about a day. Uh, so so it it doesn't mean that much yet, but I do still think that Caspa will return to be bullish. Um, until this structure is broken, I will remain bullish on Caspa. And for now, I would say that it's actually a little bit more likely that we'll drop down into fourteen and a half cents. That would be my ideal entry, all right? If you if you look at all these support levels, like right now we found support at 15 cents, that's a great support level, but 14 and a half, if you look at the technical uh, uh, support levels we have there, but also historically, that's just a strong level. Um, and it, it's, it's for multiple reasons that I think we'll drop down there. First of all, we will probably see a lot of volatility in the next 24 hours um, because the volume is so, so low in the markets. So what you usually see then is, is some movement up to liquidate some, some shorters and movement down and 14 and a half cents is pretty close to the price right now especially also if you look at the total altcoin market there's a very significant support level a bit lower so it would make sense for for some sort of a whale to try to take out that level and from there to see bullish momentum so assuming that caspa will move together with other altcoins which i do think is a fair assumption given the fact that the momentum for caspa is still quite low um, that would mean a bit of a drop for Caspa would be a drop into 14 and a half cents. Now, I, I do want to tell you, like I said, the level we hit is 15 and a half cents. That's quite significant. So getting some momentum from there was to be expected and, and going a bit higher than where we are right now is to be expected as well. But the main question is for me, at least, is can we actually get some sort of a bullish breakout? So that would be a breakout above this level right here between 15.6 and 15.8 cents. And for now, like I said, due to the, the market structure as a whole, but also due to the fact that Caspa, you know, we did gain some momentum from that support level. But I, I, I don't see enough momentum yet to assume that we will be bullish from here. It's a possibility, all right? If, if, if we actually are able to break above 15.8 cents here, then it is most likely we'll move back up to 17 and 17.4 at the very least. Uh, but for now, I think it's a bit more likely that we will still find resistance here drop down into 14 and a half cents and then from 14 and a half cents start to gain some bullish momentum break back above 15 cents start to rally up to 17 17.4 and hopefully we can start talking about higher highs then uh, or a new all-time high as well uh, but that's something for in the future for now that short term what i expect um like i said i expect volatility so so be a bit prepared for multiple scenarios here like i said if bitcoin turns very bullish uh, we can get a breakout right here as well. And that would, in the end, be the most bullish scenario. Um, but like I said, due to circumstances, I don't expect that. Um, and and this, in, in this video, I, I told you what I, what I do expect. So that's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, then of course, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.